Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to a brand new episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, we're going to be showing you guys some quick and easy things that you can do on your own vehicle to boost the overall shine and value. Alright guys, so given that all vehicles are different, this does go on a case by case basis. So it may vary to which one of these products or which combination of these products is really going to work out best for you. In the case of this Yukon right here behind me, we've actually already pre-selected some products and things that we're going to be showing you. The first is going to be metal polish. As you guys can see, this is a Denali, so it has a ton of chrome accents, chrome wheels, chrome tips, chrome everywhere. So we're going to show you guys how to clean and polish that. The next step is going to be the undercarriage. Now this does have a lot of exposed undercarriage component, such as the wheel liners, they're plastic, they're dried out. We want to make sure that they're conditioned, they look nice, deep black, and they're also protected against the elements. And then lastly, the headlights are a little neglected, so we do want to show them headlights some love. So we are going to be wet sanding and hitting it with our headlight restore to really bring back that shine. So now that we gave you guys a quick little recap of what we're going to be doing on this Yukon, let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the tips right here. So right here we have our Nonsense All-Purpose Cleaner. We're gonna use this to clean the exhaust tips and then we have our light metal polish. This is gonna be the polish that we use to polish out the shine, get rid of all the oxidation, the buildup carbon and any kind of water spots. So I'm gonna set these down. And I'm gonna start off with the Nonsense first. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna spray directly onto the surface here. And I'm gonna do one at a time. That way we can get like a nice hard 50-50 of what one looks like polished and we can really see the overall difference and what the polish really does to the surface. So as you guys can see, it does a great job at cleaning all the gunk that's uh, baked on there, but there's still some stuff that unfortunately are not gonna be able to get removed with just the cleaner. And this is the stuff that I'm talking about. So as you guys can see, it doesn't really look as shiny as it could be. Now there are some areas like right here on this very, just like this little small patch right here, where it has a very bright chrome finish. In this case, we want to make sure that we polish it out to its full potential. So we want to polish it to get rid of all this yellowing, all this browning, all this staining that's going on. And we're also going to be going in deep. So I'm going to actually grab some more cleaner and just spray a slightly bit more just because I didn't really get too much in there. So I just want to make sure that I get a nice thorough clean because we are going to be using our ball buster drill attachment. And I'll show you guys just how to use that right now. All right guys, and check that out. We just finished cleaning it and check out all that grime. So now that the surface is clean, now we can begin to polish. I'm gonna set this towel down, put it to the side, and then we're gonna grab our light metal polish. And this works out great for removing things like light oxidation, uh, buildup, water spots. And this is really designed to just bring out the overall shine. And this does have a built-in sealant. So as it shines, it also protects. We also have our heavy metal polish, which is slightly more aggressive because it does contain abrasives, which work out great for more heavily oxidized surfaces, such as on older vehicles. So what we're gonna be using today is actually gonna be our ball buster drill attachment. So it's this attachment that hooks up directly to your power drill. I'm gonna remove it so I can show you guys what it looks like without the drill. So as you guys can see, it's a soft polishing attachment that connects to your power drill, and it's also in a cone-like cone shape. It's not a full cone, but it is cone-like, and it also has these little ridges as well. So depending on the surface that you're trying to polish, you can use this for polishing exhaust tips, wheels, bumpers, and so much more. And it's extremely easy to use. All you have to do is just hook it up to your power drill, lock it in, and you're good to go. And the thing I love most about this is that it does have this little handle right here, which kind of spins freely. So you can go ahead and turn on the drill and you can have your hand here. That way you have the ultimate control. So if you guys check this out. I can actually hold this piece and have the best precision and this piece is not spinning as well. So that way you can grab it right here and have full control of where exactly you're polishing. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my light metal polish and I'm gonna coat my ball buster. So what I like to do is I like to put about two lines And then since I'm wearing gloves, I also like to kind of work it in just slightly, just because I don't really like when you turn it on and it starts flinging all over the place. So in order to avoid this, just simply work it into the foam material itself to avoid that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to insert the ball buster into the tip here, and I'm going to slowly going to turn it on to a low speed setting, just kind of work the product in, and then I'm going to turn it on to a higher speed setting once it's more worked in.
All right, guys, so now that I'm done polishing the surface, all that there's left to do is to wipe off the residue. Now, I did get a little bit of residue right here onto the bumper. I'm not really too concerned about it because it's not too much and it wipes right off. So all you want to do is just wipe that right off. And then you can start wiping it off your tips and unveil that incredible shine. All right guys, and would you guys check that out? This thing looks amazing. You can definitely tell a huge difference between this clean and polished side versus this nasty neglected side which you haven't cleaned or polished yet. Huge results and imagine guys, you think your car was clean, you know, the car was cleaned already, but for something like this, they weren't really clean, so they look dirty and they were bringing down the overall value and look of the vehicle. So by simply polishing your tips, you can really make your car stand out, especially if you have some beautiful tips like this, you wanna make sure that they shine to their best potential. So we just finished cleaning the inside of the exhaust tip and now the only thing left to do is to polish the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and polish the outside of the tip as well, show you guys the final results and then we're gonna move on to the next product. All right guys, so taking a few steps back from the exhaust, now we're gonna start addressing the undercarriage. So as you guys can see right here, the undercarriage, it's not too rough of in a shape. It's not super neglected, it's not super dirty, and you know, that's really not what we're going for. We're not really trying to show just how dirty the undercarriage is and how great of a cleaner the product is, but more so, focus more about how to make the undercarriage really pop. Now, one thing I do wanna share is, this thing has a splotchy kind of look, so you can definitely tell that there's like patches of dirt, grime, there's patches of, I don't know, some kind of oil or something that the owner uh, must have drove through. So we just wanna have a nice uniform and protected finish. So to start off this process, we're gonna actually start off with their Nonsense again. So Nonsense is a great versatile all-purpose cleaner. You can use it on interior and exterior surfaces and it's pH neutral, it's colorless, it's odorless. So you can basically use it on any surface because it works out that great. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our Nonsense and I'm gonna spray it directly onto the surface. And I'm also gonna be accompanying it with one of our boar's hair detailing brushes. Now this brush is great because this is gonna help agitate any kind of dirt and grime that's sitting on the plastic. So even if there's some areas right here where there's like some crevices, some grooves that we can't necessarily get into, the bristles of this brush are flexible so we're gonna have an easier time trying to get in there. And then just real quick you guys, we just wanna apologize in advance simply because we do have some very unfortunate noises coming from outside. They are doing some road work so we just wanna apologize in advance. We're just gonna go ahead and just keep going on with this video. So we have our nonsense all-purpose cleaner. Now I'm gonna start spraying onto the surface directly. And the nonsense works great because that's a great foamy action. So we spray onto the wheel liners. And if you do have uh, carpeted felt wheel liners, you can also use this product with the brush. You can also use a more aggressive brush if that makes cleaning easier for yourself as well. And then I'm also gonna spray it directly into the bristles, set my bottle down, and I'm gonna start scrubbing the surface of the undercarriage. All 
All right guys, so we just finished cleaning the undercarriage and this thing looks great. However, we can make it look better. So right now what I'm gonna do is mask off half of it and then we're gonna coat the other side with our bare bones undercarriage to protect it so that we can see a clear 50-50 of what a treated and protected undercarriage wheel liner looks like. All right guys, so we just finished masking off the undercarriage wheel liner. Now it's time to coat it with our bare bones. Now, Bare Bones is a specifically designed product for undercarriage components. You can use it on things like wheel liners, metal frames, suspension components, and much more, and it's extremely easy to use. Since we've already cleaned the surface and we've prepped it, now all we have to do is apply it. And one quick way of doing that is with a soft microfiber applicator. So all you wanna do is grab your, your bottle of Bare Bones and spray about two, uh, three to four sprays onto the applicator just to saturate it, that way we can start wiping it onto the surface. So now that we've sprayed it down, I'm gonna start applying it to the surface and we're gonna do this in a nice and even manner. So we're just gonna apply it left, right, up and down. You know, with this product, it doesn't really, it's not really like specific in terms of, you know, you're not really gonna get any kind of high spots or anything. Just apply it just like a traditional dressing and we'll be on our way. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and then if I do have to spray a little bit more, I will and I'll show you guys just how much more we spray. But four sprays should be more than enough to coat this side of the undercarriage. guys so we just finished applying the bare bones undercarriage protectant and right away you can tell a huge difference on how this looks and the overall effect and results that we can achieve by applying this to the undercarriage so i'm going to go ahead and take off the tape right now and show you guys a nice hard 50 50. check that out you guys that thing looks amazing all right guys so we just finished doing this half of the undercarriage wheel liner now all that there's left to do is to finish the opposite side and the other three ones as well so we're going to go ahead and get that done and then we're going to meet you guys at the headlights for that epic transformation Right, guys so we're right here with the headlights now so we've already taken the liberty and saving the time of masking them off we masked them off with some masking tape just to avoid getting the sandpaper onto the paint which brings me to the next product which is the actual sanding block itself so this is our hyperflex sanding block and it has a 2000 grit sanding sheet stuck to the surface of it and we're using this because we want to make sure that we remove all this dead layer of plastic now normally with our headlight restore you can go ahead and use it as is on an oxidized headlight in this case this thing is pretty bad on the surface. It may not look as bad in uh, video, but in person you can definitely tell that there's a lot of, uh, like there's like a haze and there's also kind of like all kinds of markings on the surface. So we want to make sure that we get a nice even finish and then we're going to go ahead and polish it out with the headlight restore. So I have my sanding block here. I have some lubricant right here. We're going to be using our clay luber. You can also use water. In this case, I like using the clay luber because it's a lot slicker. And then all you want to do is start spraying down the surface of your headlight. Now after you spray a coat of clay luber onto the surface of the headlight, also make sure to lubricate your sandpaper as well. And then you're simply gonna go ahead and glide the sandpaper left and right. And right away you're gonna start noticing all that yellow gunkiness coming off of the headlight. That's that layer of dead plastic that's on there. So we're gonna go ahead and complete this motion and do the entire headlight until once we're sanding it, we don't see any more of that yellow haze coming off. So we're gonna go ahead and complete this and then we'll be right back with you guys to polish it out.
All right, guys, and once you finish sanding, you can set down your bottle of clay luber. I'm gonna hang on to my clay block just so I don't put it on the ground. Grab yourself a microfiber towel and buff off the excess of the clay lubricant on the surface. Now, what you're looking for right now is you wanna make sure that the headlight has an opaque look. So you don't want it uh, shiny, you don't want that yellow film still on there. If you still see that there's yellow oxidized film, keep on sanding until you remove it. In this case, it looks pretty good to me just because the surface, it just had mainly most of the oxidation. So we didn't have to go too deep in terms of sanding it with the more aggressive sandpaper. So this works out great. And if you do have a finer sandpaper, like a 3000 grit, feel free to go ahead and follow it up. That we have more of a refined finish and it's a lot easier to polish out. In this case, I'm gonna leave it as is and now I'm gonna grab my headlight restore and my power drill so that we can polish this out. So I'll be right back with you guys in a second. All right guys, so now that we're done sanding the headlight, now it's time to polish it out with our headlight restore. So we're gonna actually be utilizing the same drill that we used to polish the exhaust tips. Now we only have the attachment that has our Hexlogic orange pad, which is great for cutting. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab my headlight restore and apply about four small drops onto my pad. Depending on the size of your headlight, you can use less if you have a smaller size headlight. This is a larger one, so we are gonna be utilizing four drops. I'm gonna set my bottle down and then we're gonna go ahead and blot it out onto the surface. That way we can have a nice, even, uniform finish. Now, once you blot it out, you wanna turn it on to the lowest speed setting and just very quickly work it into the surface. That way it's nice and evenly distributed on the headlight. All right, so now that it's evenly distributed out, we can turn it onto a higher speed setting, work it in, and then what you're looking for when you're polishing is you wanna make sure that the product becomes clear. Once it becomes clear, you know that you're done, you can grab your microfiber towel and then buff it off. So right now I'm gonna thoroughly work it in, wipe it off, and show you guys the final results. All right guys, and now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess of the product with a soft microfiber towel. All right guys, and check out those results. It looks amazing. And not only does it look amazing and you can see clearly through your headlight, but now your headlights can actually see clearly through the lens. So at night when you're driving, it's not gonna be a hazard for you because you're not gonna have that layer of dead plastic, which is gonna take away from the overall look and shine of the lights itself. So now that we have that done, all that there's left to do is to finish the other headlight and then we'll be right back with you guys for the final results. All right guys, so we just wrapped up detailing the Yukon and this thing looks amazing. We went through a full transformation on cleaning and polishing the exhaust tips. We also cleaned and conditioned the undercarriage so it has that nice jet black look all over again. And we also hit those headlights to make them as good as new. As you guys saw, they were pretty neglected. They were very yellow. So we just wanted to make sure to give them the proper love and attention they deserve. So we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future videos. And as always, if you guys wanna pick up any of these products, I'm talking about any of these products right here that were shown on today's video, you can pick them up directly on our website, chemicalguys.com, and you can also pick them up at your local detail garage store. And if you do pick them up on our website, make sure that you sign up for our My CG Rewards Club so that you get rewarded for every dollar that you spend, which you can use to apply for free products, discounts, exclusive access to promotions, and much more. All right, guys, we're gonna conclude the video right here. My name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, and I will see you guys on our next episode.